in our present state. All phenomena, including space and time, are experienced as existing. And sometimes space and time collapses. Like the phoenix who has to die. In order for the original nature to appear, it is necessary for even space and time to collapse. Could a snow snowflake survive inside a burning flame? In the midst of such a state, the holy ones and the patriarchs are of no use anymore. For this is the time of striking down the Jesus and Buddha and striking down the patriarchs. Since they are of no use, how can you distinguish between ordinary and accomplished being? Who would be ordinary and who would be accomplished? Not even a single snowflake could survive here. But first, what is Jesus and Buddha? Good and bad. How can you transform them? It means they won't go away but you are actually using it. You cheerfully come and go. How could you not always love? It is fine to come and it is fine to go. So you may go as you please through the three unfortunate realms. That sounds very promising. Wouldn't you like to do that? To be free. How can the apple be free from the gravity? Often we think as to be free as to do whatever you want to do. if you can carry the consequences. So now I started to reflect upon my situation. My whole body from the top of my head to the soles of my feet is always pain. But the monk who practice in order to attain liberation from birth and death. I should not be upset about physical pain.
That's really a strange wish. To attain the liberation from birth and death. Like Jesus, who went into the underworld to defeat death. Like Buddha, who went into the dark, dark side to defeat death. But isn't that all what we want? But we cling on the form. So what's the highest possible goal deep from your heart? So in this small and rustic monastery. <clears throat> Only a handful see the self nature. Most come not to study, but to affiliate themselves with a popular pursuit. Once a famous Zen master said, the one word breaking through empty space. True voice of giving and snatching away. Looking around, there is no one. To whom should I transmit this ball and rope? So in life, three pillars are necessary. Great faith, great doubt, and great provocation. Because of faith, it examines. Because of doubt, it is vivid it examines. Since the mind is provoked, nothing else can do except for re-examination. My old teacher said, today students deal with the truth ceaselessly, as if they were children playing with the ball with the idea that awakening is easy, and merely saying, oh, I got it. But the old master, using the sword of wisdom, destroyed them mercilessly, which is the same way that all the patriarchs have brightened the wise and Holy One's teaching by re-examination. That is the patriarchal spirit. As my old father, whenever I visit him, his presence provokes my mind to re-examine very carefully. But we get lazy and our habits grow. 
So to re-examine inside and outside needs a lot of courage. In the deep canyon, where the clear stream is flowing continuously, all kinds of birds are singing everywhere. Beautiful sounds, which pleases the ears. But no one ever comes to visit this place. It's the monk's place and is quiet and tranquil. Very boring. Day after day, the sun rises and the sun sets. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's cloudy. But it's a good place to contemplate and re-examine what this mind is. As for God, one of the many translations of God is, I am here. Now, beautiful. God literally means, I am here. We are already in the midst of God's hand. Ask yourself repeatedly, what does this mind look like? In your daily rounds, continue to ask yourself, what does this mind look like? Reflect upon these questions so intensely that you're like a starving man thinking of nothing but good food. Do not lose this question any time. But to reflect and re-examine, you have to be emerged completely in all the tasks you have to do. There are three big disabilities. Blindness, although you have eyes, not knowing how to see. Deafness, Though you have ears, not knowing how to hear. And dumbness, although you have a tongue, not knowing how to speak. Do you really see? Do you really hear? And do you really talk? In funeral ceremonies or wedding ceremonies or when you talk publicly, every word has to hit its target. There's no missing. What if your whole life depends on what you see and what you hear and what you talk? Nowadays, many scream for 
to be aware. Of course, because your whole world and your whole life depends on what you see, what you hear, and what you're talking. It's like in the battleground of life and death. There's no time to waste. When you talk to the kids, every single thing you see, every thing, single thing you hear, and every single thing you say has consequences beyond the 10,000 worlds. I am here. It's the source where it all starts. I am here. 